After installing the DocEv Manager, it's now time to go and install your DocEv agents. Agents can be installed on your SharePoint web front end servers, application servers, and even your database servers if you're running our platform backup solution. To install the DocEv agent, download the DocEv agent installation package, unzip it, go into that directory, and locate and double click setup. Just like the manager installation, the DocEv agent install is going to give us a little wizard. Down at the bottom, I'll click next. First, supply your name and the name of your organization, and click next. Scroll through and read the license agreement. Down at the bottom, check off I accept, and click next. Review the installation directory. If you would like to change it, you could browse now. I'll leave it where it is though, and click next. Much like with the manager, the agent is going to run through some rule checks. If you needed more information on anything that came up as a warning or as failed, you could click on it and open up a browser window for relevant information. And now we get to where the agent is going to be installed. As a default, it will drop in the name of the machine where you are running this installation file. It also shows you the port number. You could change that here if you chose to. This is the primary port where the agent will receive information from the other DocEv services. Since I am running this installation on the same VM where I ran the manager, it's dropping in the name of that particular machine, and it's assuming I did not change the control service port, which I did not. And down at the bottom, I'll leave it set to built-in security certificate. If you wanted to use your own certificate to encrypt communication between the agent and the manager, you could browse for it here. When installing the DocEv Manager, you created a passphrase. This is where the passphrase now is going to be used to allow communication between the agent and the manager services. If you've forgotten your passphrase, you can go into the DocEv Manager and you can change the passphrase in the general security settings. You will also need to supply the agent service account. This is the account that it will use to communicate with systems like SharePoint. For detailed information on all the permissions that are required by the agent service account, please look at your DocEv installation user guide. So we enter those credentials and we click next. Review the information you have entered. Everything looks good and I'll click install. As the agent gets installed and establishes communication back to the DocEv control service, this installation may take a few minutes. Once your installation is complete, you can click Finish to close out the wizard. Thanks for watching this short video on installing a DocEv agent.